Welcome Wolf and Wolfettes! We are back with Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception on a PS4. And right now, Nathan Drake, Sully and Cutter are having a little bit of a punch up in London Underground. <laughs> so uh, there's not going to be much talking for the next few minutes because uh, there's a good chance I'm going to die over and over again. Uh, so not playing games for a long time and then doing it for YouTube is a terrible idea because I make myself look like a right fucking noob. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Right, now, um, we need to watch out for the dudes at the back that have got laser guns, because they're the arseholes that seem to be uh, ruining my day. They pretty much stop you from running anywhere, because as soon as you stand up, they snipe you right in the face. Yeah, I've just got to get used to the, um, the aiming in this one, because it feels so much different to Uncharted 2 and 1. <laughs> it. It's better once you get used to it, but it's pretty annoying at first. Here, right, what's, what's the fucking reload button? We'll find a way out. Oh shit, I'm, I'm forgetting all the buttons. Oh, there we go. It's R1. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, someone's coming up, Sully. Get ready to punch. There he is. Sully, we do. Oh, headshot. What's Sully doing? Right, let's get out of here. I, need, I, need, I can't see anybody. One minute. Hang on a minute. If you look at the lasers, it looks like their fucking eyes are red. I'm not sure why Sully and Cutter even came on this adventure with me, because so far, Sully and Cutter, all they do is stand there and let the uh, enemies run right up to them. See, look, what's he doing? What are you doing, what are you doing Cutter? Cutter! Fucking hell! Shoot someone, boy! I'm not, sure, I'm not even sure what's enemies at the moment. <laughs> I'm looking at things and they just look like fucking... Hit him! Drake, hit him! Hit him! Oh, yeah! Good job, Drake! I mean, I didn't want to do that, but that was good anyway. I just, I feel like the um, the aiming is like... I feel like my uh, I need to turn up the sensitivity. Because I feel like I'm moving... Oh, shit! Oh! Oh, yes, that's it! That's, that's what you want to do. Now, that's another new feature in number three. I don't know if you could do this in one and two, but if you uh, beat somebody up and they've got a weapon that you're not holding like a uh, primary or a secondary weapon, you actually automatically pick it up if you beat them up. Which is very good. Wasn't there somebody over here? Oh, I guess I guess um, Cutter and uh, Sully actually killed someone. Now, I think there's going to be a few more coming, and what you want to watch out for is there's going to be a few dudes that run on top of this train over here. Because they like to climb up and stand there and shoot you. Sometimes you don't even notice them. Because everybody's wearing black in this place. And it's, it's impossible to see anyone really. I really don't like this bit. I felt a little bit violent, didn't it? There they are. I can't, I've got to remember the buttons. What's been happening at the moment is I've been playing quite a bit of Star Wars Battlefront. So I've, uh, I've really forgotten pretty much anything that is a shooting type of game. I've forgotten the buttons for anything that's not Battlefront, pretty much. Oh! Shit, I've got to remember. It's, uh, circle is when they grab you, and triangle is when they uh, swing at you, ain't it? I've got to remember. I like how everyone's just running at me. I don't give a shit. I mean, we're doing better than we've done yesterday, or the day before. Because I'm used to doing um, these videos, pretty much, I do one game at a time, don't I? And because I've started doing, like, different games and that, I've got to remember that I can't say yesterday anymore. It's pretty much, I have to say, the last episode I recorded now. Because <laughs> I keep forgetting. Because at the moment, I'm doing pretty much, I'm alternating between Fat Princess Adventures and uh, Uncharted 3. And soon I'll probably be adding Assassin's Creed into the mix, if I get time. Oh, hello, Sully and Cutter. You've decided to join the party, have you? Now, I think there's more laser dudes down here. See, that's what I mean. If you just add, if you just aim towards the lasers, you hit them every single time, pretty much. See, so, like, if I shoot towards that laser... Oh, wait, I think he ducked. Did he duck or did I get him? I think I might have killed him. Might have been a headshot. <laughs> 
Oh, so the, the, the smoke magically vanishes when I kill them. Well, that's bollocks, isn't it, Wolf and Wolfettes? That is complete bollocks. Cool, one minute. Oh, I feel like my mic is too far away from my face. Right, we're going to get some bullets and we're going to carry on. So, uh, what have we found at? We found a map and it's pretty much... I think what we're doing is we're sort of trying to find out this great big mystery that um, Francis Drake had hidden from everybody. That's pretty much what we're doing right now. We're trying to discover that. But in the middle of discovery, we got attacked by these gits. So, uh, yeah. I guess we have to do a bit more discovery when we get out of this bloody dump. Oh, oh shit, yeah, this is probably my favourite gun in the game. Oh, oh, what are you two doing? Fucking hell, Sully and Cutter, what's wrong with you two? They must have come in here, seen some enemies, and they just ran back out. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, what a son of a bitch. I just saw someone. Oh, I'm really bad at aiming in this fucking game. <laughs> the problem is, it's because they're wearing black suits and we're in a very dark tunnel. And for some reason, because where my telly is set up in my room, I get a lot of glare from the telly, from the um, window. So I, I, I literally cannot move my telly anywhere else in my room because there's no room at all. So uh, it... This game seems to be one of the worst games I've ever played for, like, glare. <laughs> so I, I can't see shit in dark areas. Once we get back out in the, the sunshine and that, then uh, we can go back to kicking ass. But for now, you're going to have to deal with my casual ways. <laughs> oh, another game I've been playing quite a bit of lately is uh, Heroes of the Storm on PC. If you guys have played that, it's pretty much like a uh, League of Legends type game with all the Blizzard characters from, like, World of Warcraft, Diablo... Uh, Starcraft, all that good stuff. Fuck it, it's very fucking good, actually. Hey, look out. I can't move! Will you two get out of my fucking... Oh! <laughs> I hate these two. Oh, shit, who's that? Oh, it's Sully. I like how the, uh, I assume that these are like smoke grenades that these guys are setting off. I love how the smoke magically vanishes after I've killed everybody. Why well, don't it vanish before? That'd be a lot more helpful. And why the hell doesn't Nathan Drake have a torch? I swear there was a uh, fancy gun down here. Looked like a um, magnum or something. Thank you. Cutter, where the hell are we? The North Atwood Station, come on! The North Atwood Station, gotta be honest, I've never heard of that station. Oh shit, get down, get down, I could use a grenade right now. Right, let's try and get him right in the head. Well, I'm pretty sure I shot you in the head then, but as, as in true Naughty Dog fashion, it seems people don't die from headshots. <laughs> they, they did in number one, but in number two and three they seem to be fucking immune. Oh, this dude is a Terminator. Oh, what's going on? Oi! What? That's what was you doing, Sally and Cutter? Why don't you shoot someone? What's wrong with these people? Oh, they gave me a random few bullets for my machine gun. Right, I'm going to go down here because you guys are fucking useless. <laughs> oh, okay, so Sully was standing here then. So how the hell did they get past you, Sully? Did you just let him go through? Did you just give up on life, mate? Or maybe you just don't care because it seems the only person that can even die in this game is Nathan Drake. So I, I, I just assume Sully don't care. I hear somebody punching somebody. <laughs> I hope they killed him. I wish I could survive this many uh, machine gun bullets in real life. I mean, if any of my subscribers have been in the army or something and you've ever been shot, let me know if you think you could survive at least 17 machine gun rounds to your chest. Because I'm pretty sure not many people could. But they can in this fucking game. 
Okay. Should probably pick up that shotgun, actually. What I'm having trouble with at the moment is in Star Wars Battlefront, if you, you have to press Dan on the D-pad on the uh, D-pad to uh, look over your other shoulder. In this, you have to press the analog. So I'm kind of um, messing up a bit. Oh, shit. The damage. <laughs> the fucking damage. I kind of wish this stuff did happen, it happen in London Underground because every time I'm on the London Underground when I'm seeing my fiance and that, because as you guys know, I need to get to King's Cross to go to Yorkshire and um, the fucking, the station is boring. Every, like, every person you walk past, nobody's got any emotion at all. Everyone just seems angry. So uh, I won't mind a random gunfight, you know. Might make things a bit more entertaining. Oh! Drake, please! Drake! What the fuck? Oh! Drake! Why the fuck didn't you lay down? Crouch down, I mean. I think I just got that dude in the head. Hello? Hello? Oh. Oh shit! What the fuck? Do you see all those li- oh. Well, this video did start off going well. I'm not sure what's going on. I thought- These guys are not even standing up at the moment. Yeah, I'm just getting like three headshots. And another headshot, I think. Right, let's get over here and take cover so we don't end up fucking dead. Oh, so they are, they are throwing smoke bombs. Ah, there we go. There he is. Now, I don't think you even have to kill those dudes down there. I think they just sort of run off in a minute. But I think we need to kill this dude in the corner first before they'll run away. Fuck it out. <laughs> Come on. Watch out for this laser. Is he dead? Yeah. I thought they ran away now. Right, I'm going to run forward. There's a good chance I'm going to end up dead. Up here, hurry. Now, I think some dudes might run up behind you. Yes, they do. <laughs> so, good job. I just remember these random things. I mean, it doesn't do me any good because I still randomly die in this game. and probably piss all you guys off when you're watching this, but, you know. <laughs> Fucking I agree. Bollocks. Back up, back up. Oh, could nobody else shoot the chain? Come on. I'm covering you. Go, go, go. The guy says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now i got to catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job, well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D's signature. Who the hell's John D? John D? One of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, he was a great mathematician and navigator. Hey, way ahead of his time, he's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look, 007. Not really that relevant, 
So it was John Dee who sent Drake to Arabia? Yeah, it looks that way. Dee and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia... Great film. He was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and the Crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every Crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubalkali Desert. Right here. Well... <laughs> I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues, Lawrence only had half. We have both, and Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubalkali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian script. Sabian script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Oh. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> End of the line, I guess. Don't. <laughs> Looks like we're going the rest of the way on foot. What? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. Yeah. Not too far? <laughs> With you, I never know if that means a quarter mile or twenty. Like that time you got us lost in Peru? <laughs> oh, you really want to bring up Peru? You are not still holding that over me. I was 15, Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. <laughs> you were headed that way all on your own, if you recall. <laughs> Besides, I got you out, didn't I? I always get you out. <laughs> God, bloody hell, you two finished having a little chit-chat in the forest. I've got to tell you, Wolfman, but I didn't even know you could get a bloody jungle in France. I know France is pretty hot, but I don't think it's hot enough for a jungle. Unless Sully's being a twat and he actually meant a forest. Okay, so... What, what, what's been going on with the story then? So... Some uh, advisor to the Queen, Queen Elizabeth, has sent Francis Drake across the world to find some fancy thing called the Atlantis of the Sands, which is pretty much a, a uh, city of imaginable wealth. So pretty much this game is going to be about me finding this city of imaginable wealth. That is what this is going to be about. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. It's just the same as number one and two, to be honest. And for some reason, Nathan Drake and I, I assume Sully have not, have not learnt their lesson 
that every time they go and try and find treasure, shit goes down and there ends up being some fucking zombies or demonic Hulk creatures trying to kill everyone. But never mind, eh? I guess Drake just really, really likes um, treasure, doesn't he? Oh, look at that. Look at that water. Actually, there's a treasure in here. I'm going to grab this treasure and we're going to have to end it for today. There we go. I have missed a few treasures, actually. Some very obvious ones. So uh, you guys will probably find them without my help. Okay, well, I'm going to end it now in this absolutely gorgeous forest. Thanks for watching, Wolf of Wolfets. Hopefully this is the first Uncharted 3 video that's actually gone well, because so far, the entire of this series, so far, the last four episodes that I've done, I felt have been very shit. And I've, I didn't even want to upload them, but once they're recorded, I've not really got much choice, to be honest. <laughs> like, share, and join the pack today. Oh!